אמרת, תחרוס בית קדיש, ותפנה לפתלת יומין. It's about time we had a chat about the passion of the Christ to resurrection, isn't it? We're going to dive into why the first movie stirred up so much controversy, take a look at the cast and storyline for the sequel, and see if it's shaping up to be the most accurate portrayal yet. So, let's get into it. All right, for those who aren't up to speed, let's talk about The Passion of the Christ Resurrection, Chapter 1. It's the sequel to Mel Gibson's 2004 biblical epic, The Passion of the Christ, and it's written and directed by Gibson himself. This time around, Jim Caviezel returns as Jesus, with Maya Morgenstern and Francesco DeVito reprising their roles as Mary and Peter the Apostle, respectively. Now, as for the plot, the movie zooms in on the three days between Jesus' death and resurrection. It delves into Jesus' descent to Abraham's bosom, where he preaches and resurrects Old Testament saints. But that's not all. Gibson has teased that the fall of the angels and the harrowing of hell will also play significant roles in the film. Gibson has revealed that he's got two versions of the script in the works. One sticks to a more grounded approach, while the other takes audiences on a wild ride through different realms and even features fallen angels in hell. Sounds like it's going to be quite the trip. According to Edward Penton from the National Catholic Register, the movie will meticulously detail the events leading up to the resurrection as experienced by the apostles. But it won't stop there. We'll also get a glimpse into the intrigues unfolding in Herod's palace and the events of Resurrection Sunday in Jerusalem. Following the recent announcement of the film's official title, The Passion of the Christ Resurrection, there's been an update on its scale and structure. According to a report by Coming Soon, the IMDb page for the movie was modified in early November 2023 to include the title The Passion of the Christ Resurrection Part 1, suggesting that it might be a multi-part film. Jim Caviezel, who is set to reprise his role as Jesus, hinted that there could be two or even three films in the works. Confirmed to begin filming in spring 2023, The Passion of the Christ 2 is already generating significant buzz. Jim Caviezel confirmed that the script was finalized in September 2020, expressing his belief that it would be a monumental cinematic event. Collaborating with Mel Gibson and Randall Wallace on the script, Wallace expressed his long-standing desire to delve deeper into the story following the success of the first film. While IMDb lists a potential 2024 release date, this is subject to change. As updates continue to emerge regarding the film's development, we can expect more concrete release information in the near future. In terms of casting, Jim Caviezel's return as Jesus is undoubtedly a highlight. Additionally, several other cast members from the original film, including Maya Morgenstern and Francesco DeVito, are set to reprise their roles. However, it remains uncertain whether Monica Bellucci or Rosalinda Celentano will return as Magdalene and Satan. The story, The Passion of the Christ Resurrection, is poised to explore the period between Jesus' death and resurrection, a narrative arc that has been the subject of ongoing debate among Christians. While some anticipate a focus on the resurrection itself, others suggest that the film may delve into the three days when Jesus is believed to have descended into hell. Drawing inspiration from Catholic visionaries like Mary of Jesus of Agreda and Anne Catherine Emmerich, The movie may incorporate elements such as the harrowing of hell, a concept that could spark further discussion within the Christian community. Now, let's delve into why Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ stirred up so much controversy, even nearly two decades after its release. Marketed as a faithful retelling of Jesus Christ's 12 hours, the film boasts historical and biblical accuracy. However, upon closer examination, it becomes evident that this isn't entirely accurate. One of the main points of contention lies in the portrayal of Jesus himself. Instead of embodying love, hope, and kindness as traditionally depicted, Gibson's portrayal emphasizes pain, suffering, and hopelessness. This departure from the usual depiction of Jesus as a beacon of light caused quite a stir among audiences. The film also takes liberties with biblical and historical accuracy. For instance, the opening scene featuring Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane confronting an androgynous figure representing Satan, along with a serpent, is not found in the Bible. 
Similarly, the inclusion of a creepy demon baby mocking Jesus during his torture is entirely fabricated and not supported by biblical accounts. Furthermore, the crucifixion itself is embellished for dramatic effect, with scenes depicting Jesus carrying the entire weight of the cross and being barbarically tortured. Historically, there is debate over whether Jesus was nailed or tied to the cross, and the film's portrayal of these events has been criticized for deviating from biblical accounts. Even Jesus' physical appearance in the film is questioned for its accuracy. While portrayed with a fair complexion and certain features, there is evidence suggesting that Jesus may have had a darker skin tone. Additionally, the depiction of Jesus speaking Latin and inventing the dining room table are entirely fictional elements not supported by historical or biblical evidence. While The Passion of the Christ aimed to provide a faithful portrayal of Jesus' final hours, its departure from historical accuracy and its emphasis on graphic violence and suffering have fueled ongoing controversy and debate. The controversy surrounding The Passion of the Christ extends to allegations of anti-Semitism embedded within the film. This contentious aspect is hardly surprising given Mel Gibson's history of making derogatory remarks about Jewish people. What's ironic is that Jesus himself was Jewish, a crucial detail omitted from the film. Instead, the narrative portrays Jewish people as enemies of Jesus, perpetuating a false and harmful stereotype. The film unmistakably paints Jewish characters as villains, fueling a backlash from both Jewish and Christian communities. Gibson's portrayal of the Jewish people as an angry mob seeking to inflict maximum suffering on Jesus is not only historically inaccurate, but also perpetuates prejudice. This portrayal led to distribution struggles for the film and drew condemnation from religious and political figures alike. Another point of contention revolves around the alleged endorsement of the film by Pope John Paul II. Initial reports suggested the Pope endorsed the film's accuracy with his statement, It is as it was, after a private screening. However, the Vatican's official statement failed to clarify the Pope's stance, adding to the confusion and controversy surrounding the film's portrayal. Beyond the issue of anti-Semitism, The Passion of the Christ faced criticism for its extreme violence. The film's graphic depiction of Jesus' torture and crucifixion prompted discomfort among viewers, with reports of people fainting and even suffering fatal heart attacks during screenings. Critics argued that the excessive violence was exploitative and unnecessary, overshadowing the film's narrative. Now, with news of an upcoming sequel, The Passion of the Christ, The Resurrection, the controversy surrounding Gibson's work is set to continue. The sequel, exploring the period between Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, is expected to push boundaries even further, potentially reigniting debates about its portrayal of sensitive religious themes. Despite the controversy surrounding the original film, its sequel is poised to push boundaries even further. With Jim Caviezel reprising his role as Jesus, the sequel's portrayal of sensitive religious themes is expected to generate renewed scrutiny and criticism. As discussions surrounding the sequel intensify, debates over its potential impact on religious and cultural sensitivities are likely to resurface. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the controversy surrounding the Passion of the Christ, including allegations of anti-Semitism and concerns about excessive violence? Let us know in the comments. Oh, my God.